for example, there was a child that did have recurrent scabies. And when I kind of worked out that there was a relative that was visiting that house that had crusted scabies, I didn't have to go to that house, make that person feel shame. It was more about um, working out with that family how, what, where was this, where was the recurrence coming from? So that then, I guess the way I put it was like, you know, if we can find out why this is happening, that's really going to make a difference to this child's, I guess, long-term health journey. So in this case, the, pers- the person that was um, had the crusted scabies uh, was a renal patient. So for them, they could relate to going, I don't want my great-grandchild to end up in this chair in another 30 years. So relatable kind of stories. And it's not the same story for everyone. It's you're finding a way to help them understand and a way that is relatable to how they're living their life at the moment and things they can put in place to avoid the next generation having, I guess, suffering from poor health. So yeah. if you can do that, that uh, yeah, that people are very because they're so family orientated, want to look after the next generation and make sure they're not in the same space that we are now. I guess their way of closing the gap, you know. So if you can relate it to a family um, member, someone younger in particular, that's, you know, it works.